Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another 1.8 modding tutorial. Now, obviously, I haven't posted one of these in a very long time, and this is because I actually wanted to finish the teleport mod before I actually started creating any more tutorials from it. So, I've, cre I've finished it now, and I'm going to be recording a bunch of tutorials until the end of the mod, and it's just going to be a lot easier for me and better for you guys, because I'll be able to um, post lo a lot more episodes more closer together instead of like a week apart so there's a little plus for you guys but anyway in this tutorial today we are going to be adding a custom block model to our teleport block so if we just go into our um, block here we got our coordinate transporter we're going to be giving this a custom model today because uh, right now we've just got a plain old um, if we just load up the game real quickly here we just got a plain old um, boring old block end uh, I wanted to use my modeling program, if you don't know about it, to actually create a block model for it. So as you can see, it is a quite plain looking block and it would look a lot better if it had a custom model. So that's what we're going to be giving it today. So I've opened up my model creator and what you see in front of me is the block model that I've created for the coordinate transporter. Now you might be asking why not show the process of creating a block model and this is because I've actually already got a tutorial out there on how to create block models using my model creator. So I'm going to link you guys to that video. Um, I suggest you go watch it or you're not going to be able to continue with this tutorial. So I'll put a uh, YouTube card on the screen. It'll pop up right now. Um, just go ahead, click on that and you'll learn how to create block models with my model creator. But anyway, once you have gotten to a stage like this with your model and you've applied textures and done all that fancy stuff, you want to go over to here and just go file export JSON, so export model to JSON, and then we're just going to save that um, onto our desktop. Let's go to our desktop just so it's easier. And we're just going to call this chord transporter. I think that's what it's called in um, as our unlocalized name. So chord transporter, and then we're just going to export that to our desktop. And then what we want to do is we want to replace the block model that we've already got. So if we just go into our resources here, assets, our mod ID folder, which is TM, we'll go to models block. This is our model here. So this is simply just uh, parenting to the um, default model, which is, just the, which is just the cube. And we're applying the texture to our corn transporter texture here, which if we just have a look at that is this texture that we saw before in game so it's just that simple purple gradient there from the center uh, so we're going to be replacing this file here so simply what you want to do is drag that exported JSON that we, um, we exported to our desktop and you want to drag it on top of the blocks folder here and then uh, you want to replace it now make sure it is the same name or um, it's not going to replace it correctly and as you can see inside the coordinate transporter JSON now, we've got our model. So we've just got our textures at the top here. And then we've got the definition of each element in the model. That's all we have to do. We don't have to worry about this. This is what the program is all about. We don't have to worry about writing in JSON. We can just edit it in my model creator. So once you've done that, we can simply just go ahead. We can run the program. So let's go, uh, we'll just do debug mode. And as you can see, we've got our block model in here, but you may notice something different about this. It's got black on it. We didn't have black on there, so there's a little thing in code that you've got to do to enable um, transparency, because by default, like on blocks like stone and grass, transparency is not enabled on them, because they're basically full cubes anyway. We don't need to worry about transparency on them. And it's also a thing to basically, I guess it could stop x-ray text texture packers so if you're if I was to um, retexture this stone here to a transparent texture um, it's going to return um, a black texture instead of x-raying and you can see where all the ores and caves are and stuff like that so we've got to do something in code to make it so we can actually see through this glass here so let's go back to our code and you want to go inside the block file here so go block or well, not the block, um, the coordinate transporter. So we're inside of here. And we've got a couple of things to override. So the first thing that we've got to override is if we just press control space, and then we're going to override is opaque cube, and we want to return false here. So return false. 
And then another method we want to override is get block layer. And then what we want to do is we want to type in enum world block layer cut out. Now basically what this method does here is it basically gives some properties to the, the textures that it's allowed to have. So cut out here um, will only allow textures that are full transparency or no transparency at all. So it can't be anything in between. You can't have 50% transparency on the text. You're only, you're only allowed 100% or 0% at all. Um, if you want to have something in between, you can you can change this to translucent, but there's a little bit of a rendering glitch with translucent, so I suggest um, you don't have any uh, textures with 50% alpha or 75 or anything in between at 0 and 100%. So we're just going to select cut out here and press save. Now this one here is opaque cube. Just says to the Minecraft um, system that this cube can be seen through. So we want to make sure that we render the blocks um, behind it um, so it doesn't give off that x-ray texture. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and run the game now. And as you can see we no longer have that black texture and also we are not going to be x-raying into the world here. So as you can see the blocks behind it are actually being rendered. So we can see this face of the block of the stone here through this block model. So that's basically going to end off this video today. This is just a quick video just going over how to add your own block models. Um, again, I'll link you guys to my model creator program and a tutorial where you can learn how to create block models like the one that you see in front of me right here. And then it is simply as exporting from the program and then overriding the block model in our uh, models folder. So hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned for all the rest of the episodes because they're going to be coming out very soon. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.